all right welcome back everyone now let's uh, discuss the next bug which is sql injection uh, ajax json query jquery so uh, let's search for iron man as you can see just as we are typing we are getting the results so this is using ajax and json uh, data and using jquery and ajax to retrieve json data and displaying that in the browser so uh, if i search for iron man we got uh, result right here you can see the title as iron man and it is listed and other information so let's intercept this request using bulk suite to see and play around with this so let's uh, uh, we have iron man so let's uh, let's end and yes we got the result uh, we got the query let's send this to repeater and play with this so here we got we are sending get request to this url and let's uh, change some some queries with this so parameters and just one parameter let's change this to something else let's apply double quotes and send this request we got 200 this means this works fine but we did not got any result let's try to add some malicious code with this so and this is by the way this is using get request so we got to uh, send the url encoded values so let's make changes right here so let's say iron man and let's i have some bad query scale query let's paste this and here we are sending uh, just a is a movie title and then we are uh, appending our SQL query so on and all select one column name uh, null 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 and from information schema dot columns we are uh, table name as user so we are targeting the user tables users table in the current database so let's uh, let's apply this here we got uh, the query let's send this request to see what result we got uh, 500 so let's add double quotes right here let's apply this and send this request and we got some results right here uh, id let's display this in the browser uh, and using the oh this is the json data so we can't uh, view this in the browser so here you can see we got the title iron man and so on and so forth and id lot of information and if you can see here as you can see the school bar so we got a lot of information and here is the uh, here is our uh, results so uh, we are viewing the user the user data after that so we are, we are using onion all so we are kind of connecting those together so the password in the table field is uh, login and then the next field is uh, password the next field is email the next field is secret and so activation code and activated boolean and secret code admin which will be true or false then id and then name then email then we replied it then password and remember token we got a lot of in created it updated it it was our, a lot of information from the user table so name username and password created it and updated it there seems to be two times occurred so let's go as you can see current connection current connection we got something and name so with this query we got the table fields so actually so two factor authentication these are the boolean values remember tokens uh, profile photo path created it updated these uh, occur two times country we applied it phone verified it table field name name email again password remember token username and so on and so forth so let's change something to see what result we are getting instead of uh, um, instead of users let's change this to something else let's say books books let's apply this and send this request we got 200 again and we got a lot of uh, information to see let's uh, here you can see we got the books uh, database table field name so name category and author id and publisher id status created it updated it and so on and so forth so you can uh, guess table uh, name here and apply that and it will show you the details of that now let's uh, try another query i have another query uh, i see uh, we are appending our uh, query to this and we are setting the uh, title to blah and then we are appending onion all select uh, one login name login uh, password email secret and one one from users so we are uh, sending this to the users table so let's apply this and send this request to see what we got 500 so uh, something is seven just add uh, let's uh, try to add double quotes send this request we got 200 and we got a lot of information as you can see uh, title two this seems to be the secret and then uh, release here this this is something else we will add it this is the email and lol and ticket id and so on and a lot of information and the emails and uh, emails 
BWF at printer ZF Foobar at example are done Foobar at example type set Let's try this with the books table to see if we can see the results Let's apply this and send this request we got 500 again uh, Let's do something Let's try the users again apply and send We got that results Let's try the next query which is uh, onion all set we are the, the, which shows the database table so let's apply this and by the way you can uh, practice uh, with this and change the values to something different things and with this query again we got uh, 200 as when this worked now let's uh, go down to see what result we are go, uh, getting with that so as you can see we got information schema information plugins uh, process list profile routines we got the table so we are reviewing the table session status and statistics as you can see you can uh, see my school bar these are a lot of uh, tables let's go down even where it's current this seems to be wordpress table set of subject and a lot of tables we got so you can explore this as yourself if you uh, here we got browser so these are some secret <laughs> tables and you can uh, if you it depends on the on your uh, SQL server so how much database tables you have in your SQL server so these are uh, this database database name and then the table name so in this database we have this table and, sh and show, uh, it shows that so in the browser we have rules tables it shows those information in the browser we have personal access token and so on and so forth we have parts for receipt table we have migrations we have period jobs and, these, uh, and we got WordPress here. We, next we are uh, viewing the WordPress database table name WordPress users. All right. So let's uh, send to view this request in the browser. So let's send this request to uh, to the to the proxy, and then power this to the browser. So let's change it right here. Parameters instead of Iron Man. Let's paste our query and let's power this request to the browser. Let's go back to the browser, and we got nothing. Why? because we didn't intercept the request let's try again uh, title is uh, this fy and let's power this again and here we go the, we got uh, all the tables names migrations as you can see engine events files and users and so on and support posts users authors plugins servers load log uh, first again it shows two times in this and whole summary and so on schema versions and so on and so forth some some WordPress uh, database tables and so on and so forth. So you can practice with this to see what results you are getting.